Hi there, it's Mary Barak from Trading. Thank you very much for watching this recording of my live trading session. You'll get to see my screens, you'll get to see my PL, you'll get to see the way I trade today. It is just as if you were sitting right here beside me and watching my screens. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button right over here and make sure that you watch this video until the end where I will analyze and summarize today's session. Now, let's join my trading room members and start the trading session session the p is down 0 0.08 almost 0 0.1 nasdaq however is up 0.2 percent initial nasdaq move is up s p is also slightly moving up you can see that baba is weak it starts down 3.2 percent on the other hand we've got some upside movers like NVIDIA which is up 0.5, AMU up 0.9. Charts are live and looking good, Mayor. Yeah. Looking for movers. Walmart is strong today, up almost 2%. We could go long Walmart over 152. I don't want to, it's too early. I'll wait. I'll post it again here. I like Nvidia. One thirty-six. Got a I, discount on the stock. I'll go long Nvidia over three or four. I'm posting it in the room right now. Watch Nvidia. It's close. Yeah, Bob, a big move down now on BABA. Walmart just took off. I didn't want to get in, it was too early for me. Cisco is weak. And I like the fact that Cisco moved up. It could be an interesting gap and go. About to go along a video over three or four. Slowly is getting there. Full share size at 89. Watch Nvidia. It's getting there. I'm hitting the buy button right here. I think it's going to move. Take I'm two in. Looking great. One point now on take two. Come I'm on. long Nvidia. There we go. Take two. I'll take the first partial. 137.10. It gets up there. There we go. And there it is. Hey, Mayor. Woo. Scott. Hey, Yogi. Happy Thursday. Nice initial move in okay, Nvidia. traders. Big move here on take two. I'm coming out of the uh, half position here. 137.20. I am out. Take two. First trade of the day. Nice winning trade here to start. You went season. long. Congratulations. Those people that Scott, you went long take two. I did. TTWO posted at 136 entry. Long. Oh, wow. I was thinking whether I should go long now. <laughs> looks great, by the way. Still looks great. Yeah, it looks great. Hope we get something at 140. I'm going to short Cisco under 46.15. Yogi, good morning. Under 46, May I increase 15. your volume a bit? Okay, my volume is a bit higher now. There's the Walmart trade too. Wow. Nvidia is doing well. I'm getting ready for a partial. Sounds there we go. One point, touching the one point mark, over one point, taking now my partial in Nvidia. I'm going to buy take two over 138.40. Oh wow, it's a bit more there. Got to reduce my size. About to go long, take two over 138.40. May not have the time to post it. It's also quite spready. I'm long, take two. Small size, a big mover. 
I'm posting it now in the room. Oh, look at NVIDIA! I didn't see that coming. About to sell some more NVIDIA. It's touching the wow. two points mark now. Oh, wow, and over. Wow, you good job. Pre-market time, I watched NVIDIA's daily. I'm selling some more. Sell the, sold a bit more NVIDIA here. Oh, Walmart's taking off too. Wow, take Walmart, a look at uh, nice. the daily of okay, NVIDIA I'm traders. Might take two. We talked about it uh, two weeks ago, really, when we had this beautiful breakout candle here. And then I noticed today that uh, it took off to a second level and I thought it should continue. I believe I posted it today as one of my pre-market picks. Didn't I? Yes, I did. You can see it right over here. It was one of my long pre-market picks. Take two is also there. Posted Datadog for a short under 92.20 and I'm still following Shopify for a long. Does not look like I'm gonna get my chance with Cisco today. It looks like Cisco wants to move higher. Amazon seems like it has a beautiful breakout daily right now. I'm gonna go long Amazon right over here. I'm buying now. Didn't have time to post it, sorry, over 117.25. Canceling my order in Shopify, maybe later. I'm long Amazon. Microsoft DVG. I didn't quite get it at 25, I got it almost at 40. Take two is moving. We've got one point in take two. Take two looking great now, traders, as it starts to move. 140 target. Wow, it's NVIDIA small, doesn't stop. Look at that. Market. I'm still in the bubble. NVIDIA is unstoppable. <laughs> Guys, I'm about to short Datadog. Nasdaq is moving higher. Yeah, Already up 0.4%. Beautiful upside move in the Nasdaq. However, the S&P is not joining. We're holding. We're still in red. And Vita is not stopping. I gotta sell some more. It's too extended here. I'm selling more right now. Sold some more in Vidya. I had the intention of holding it Baba for target more. Is 89. Okay, take two. Hey, come on, take two. You did nice for a second there. Here we go, we're in the money on Bubba now. Amazon's moving. Target 89 on Bubba. BA. BA. I will add under 92. Coin just moved down. Quite an interesting moving coin. How's the daily looks like? That Bears, doesn't look that bad. Shares. 100 shares off a of take two TTWO. There's 100 left on now TTWO. I don't want a short coin just because the market is moving up right now. The S&P finally joined and just turned green. Otherwise, I think I would have been interested in shorting coin. But I don't think it's the right atmosphere for that right now. You spoke about CWD in the pre-market. Take a look at that stock. Yeah, the IPO from yesterday. Unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. Second day of an IPO. Oh, it's an IPO. But let's see if we can join in some point. Nvidia is unstoppable. Got it up on my radar now. Traders. Four points. Very small size oh, left. That 89 mark. 
Amazon New High. Come on, take two, join the party. Nvidia and Netflix today, straight out of the gate. Both of them. Nvidia and uh, Netflix. Crazy. I had approximately 60 cents stop loss in Amazon. Right under the reversal here. Therefore, my target should be very close to 118. Approximately the same as my stop loss. Actually, I wanted to buy it a bit before, so it's supposed to be, it was supposed to be around 117.80 something, and it is touching this level right now. And I'm wondering if that oh, should, should be the place where I'll it. take my partial. It's very close to that place where I should need to take my partial. Amazon is up 1.9%. It's looking good. Traders Bubba looking great now. 89 target on Bubba coming up. I'll let you know when I pull the trigger here on BABA. -A. Where was your entry point in Bubba, Scott? Uh, Bubba trade $88 even is my entry. Nice. Okay, take two is so you watch that CWD moving up again. Okay. Come on, take two. Let's take a new high. Amazon again at the highs. I want to sell some more NVIDIA. I'm selling some insane. more NVIDIA here. It's too extended. I'm sure I can buy it cheaper later. It's way too extended. Just keeping an eye on BABA again, target 89. Just Meta is extremely it, strong. Spike, and then you've got the VWAP right in front of it. Look at the spike in Meta, the wow. Trade here at We're getting uh, the first pullback at the highs of the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is up 0.4%, too extended to the upside without a pullback, and now we're getting the first pullback, which isn't doing well with all my long trades. And I'm still at risk with take two and with Amazon. No partials yet. Just did a partial in NVIDIA. At some point, I wouldn't mind buying some more NVIDIA. Okay. Oh, Jeff, who missed everything? No, no in let's wait. Good. As Mayor just said, we, we will find the NVIDIA in lower price later, probably. I'm not sure. Look oh, at that. No, it's for getting back for to the highs. No, no, I think we need to see a pullback. That was insane. Points for me is one way ticket. Okay, new high in Amazon. I'm getting ready for a partial. Watch Netflix, mate. Just reached my target. Yo. CWD is halted. Okay, taking my partial in Amazon here. Now, the only one left without a partial is take two. Now I'm watching Cisco, it started very weak today and it moved up like crazy. There will be a pullback in Cisco sometime soon, especially if it closes the gap. Stocks normally do move up to close the gap, although this was a very, very big gap. So some, somewhere around here, Cisco should fail. Normally, when the stock is so moving we'll up to, the to close the gap, at the point where the gap is closed, which is just another 20 cents higher, 10 cents higher, Cisco should pull back down could do it here. So if I'm going to see a sign of reversal in Cisco, I'll take a scalp. I'll be looking for a short. Can't really tell where. I think it could be under 47.30. Watch the ad here. I'll post it now, on B -A -B -A. but I'll make up my mind as it comes down. Assuming it will come down. So right now, I'm thinking about shorting it under 47.30. 
Let's see Walmart, Alejandro. Uh, maybe just want to pull back the highs. Something is strange with Walmart chart. Be careful. Under the view up looks weak. But yeah, above 153, small stop loss, nice. Because I'm score. adding to Nvidia here, small Look size. Not taking a big risk, adding to Nvidia with this nice reversal here. Assuming that Nvidia will move to a new high soon. Again, oh, a small size, fine. wouldn't let this size you risk my trade. My order in Looking to short Cisco soon, under 47.30 as I posted. Small size, relatively small size. Could be with a stop at the highs, not sure yet. But possibly just a 25 cent stop loss. That is, of course, if Cisco will pull back from the highs. The meantime, Take Two is giving me some trouble here. I hope it has the intention of continuing the uptrend. It's up 10% today, it's very strong. It should do so. Nvidia just moved to a new high. Looks good, it's a beautiful daily in take two, but when you have such a huge gap up, normally you get a gap and go, which means it should continue higher. But you never know, this could be a profit taking day too. Well, I think I do not have a trade in Cisco. Cisco just decided to continue moving higher. My theory about Cisco was wrong. Probably. Another candidate after a pullback is Walmart. Yeah, Walmart above 153. Alejandro just mentioned it in the chat. Guys, I'm still waiting for data dog under 92. Let's go long Walmart over 153.20. I'm going to join Mayor here on Walmart 153.20. I'm going to go long WMT. Around 50 cents stop loss. Maybe 40, 40 something cents. Come on, take two, recover here. Data, watch, added in data dog, watch this chart, this candle, push your size in data dog, extremely extend, taking a big, and guys, I will leave you for a few minutes in about uh, 10 minutes. I'm 10, long. 15 minutes maybe. Walmart. So. I just went long Walmart. So far, just shopping data dog. Hey, data dog. Come on, come on. Nvidia is giving Beautiful me some breakdown. trouble with Beautiful. my added quantity and that is mainly due to the fact that the S&P seems like is failing to move higher. S&P just came down a bit too much from the highs. We are too close to the lows. On the other hand, the Nasdaq is very, very strong. So I will be surprised if we're going to see the S&P moving to a new low. If we do, I'm going to be in trouble with my longs. Based on the Nasdaq, which is up 0.45 right now, we should continue higher. So far, Walmart's doing fine. It's a nice reversal point. Nvidia pulled back from the highs a little bit too much. But again, I did not add much size, so I should give it some space. Watching the Nasdaq, which yeah, may lead this months. day. Another green candle in the Nasdaq right now. S&P was responding to that. Still holding Walmart. Do not like this pullback. I will have to close Walmart at some point. It's going to be under 152.60. Oh, not looking good. I'm not looking here. 
so good. Take two just came down a bit. That's too much. I do not move out on spike, so I'll wait for the spike down in take two to to recover, hopefully. Because I'm not supposed to move out on spikes, but this could cost me some. About to move out of Walmart under 15260. It's close. I'm out of Walmart. I have a losing trade. My first loser today. Take two could be my second loser today. But again, never ever move out on spikes. And it just spiked down. Spikes could be just one seller. Always wait for recovery after a spike. And then have a stop. My stop should be, in this case, under 136 now. Always give it some space. Especially when the Nasdaq is holding near the highs. And the S&P did not yet break down under the lows, although I do not like what I see in the S&P. It's close. It's dangerously close to the lows but it's still holding and it returned to red territory down almost 0.1 percent okay yes, Garrett is asking you about a uh, Cisco maybe you will short it soon Cisco I forgot all about it guys I'm canceling my order in Shopify because I have an important phone call soon I'm still loading full shares in Datadog Shopify, I'll wait. Okay, the market is unclear. No, 61.40, 20 cents. I'm still taking it. You know what? I don't want to mess around with Cisco. I don't really have the profit cushion now to do that. I had it just before my Walmart trade. I don't have my profit cushion right now. I don't want to scalp Cisco short here. It's trending higher. I don't want to do that now. Nasdaq is holding near the highs. And it looks like the Nasdaq is about to move to a new high. We have got a beautiful bull flag formation in the Nasdaq. Nvidia recovered nicely. Again, never move out on spikes. Look at the way it spiked from the highs. Take two recovered from the last spike down. Again, always remember, these spikes could be just one seller. You don't want to move out on spikes. Now, that doesn't promise me that it's going to return to the highs. But we have to remember that take two is up more than 10%. And although spikes are a very bad sign and could be a sign of a continued downside move I need to see proof to that I need to wait for recovery we do have the recovery now and if take two will choose to move lower I believe under 1636.50 now I will have to stop it because that if it does move under 1.36.50 it will be a proof that it's downturning short retest uh, 92 Nasdaq is over the highs in my opinion is the trade of the day the Nasdaq is over the highs I think that will break 91 it's quite a clear sign of a very possible recovery in the S&P what counts is really what the S&P is doing not the Nasdaq but the Nasdaq does give us some kind of a clue as to where the S&P will move institutional buyers are watching at all times the S&P in five minute candles and when they watch the S&P in five minute candles it means that they are also buying when they see green candles so Nasdaq being much more volatile than the S&P is sometimes a kind of a you know kind of a indication that something is about to happen to the S&P it's kind of a crystal ball for us but it doesn't always tell the truth. So we're waiting for the S&P to make the move. But we do get some kind of an idea where the S&P just may move 
from the Nasdaq, which just moved to a new high. So can't trust it, but it is a good indication. And the S&P did recover slightly from the lows. Now let's see if it can continue. If it will continue, then I guess we'll see a new high in Nvidia. And I'll get my partial for the added quantity at some point. Take two recovered, just a bit, but not enough. Not at all enough. And I do have some more size left in Amazon after taking a partial. NVIDIA is very getting very close to the highs. The highs of NVIDIA is 208.32. And I do expect that it should spike soon over that highs. I think it's 86.30. You might stop on BABA. NVIDIA at my target for my added quantity. Let's see if it can move a little bit more. With some luck, maybe over 309. It is coming up with a beautiful momentum. So I'm letting it, letting it go just a bit more. Hoping that it's going to move over 309. And it does, and it does. Thank you, NVIDIA. Thank you, NVIDIA. About to reduce some more size in NVIDIA. It's a beautiful, beautiful new high move. Now, reduce some more size nice. of my Very edit nice. quantity. NASDAQ about to move to a new high. And the S&P finally is closer to the highs. Now, if that's not going to move take two, then nothing is going to move take two. Nasdaq new highs. Okay, we've got it right now. S&P at the highs. S&P is back to green, almost 0 0.1. Nasdaq is up 0 0.65 and S&P now is finally moving over the highs. Yes, we do have a new high in the S&P, finally. Now, can take two, please move. I'm selling some more NVIDIA. The loss. What a disappointing stock this one is. Guys, I'm taking here my partial. It's extremely low in take two. I just want to make sure I'm on the green side. Traders, that's it for me today. Here are my results. I'm down $1,600 with Walmart. I had a green trade in Amazon. I'm still riding it, 100 shares. Uh, take two just finished slightly in green. NVIDIA was my best trade today, still riding it. I'm up like another $100 in NVIDIA, $90 in Amazon right now, another $60. So altogether, I'm going to finish this day just over three grand. It's not my best ever trading day today. It's a rather small green day, but I am proud because I just had three winners and just one loser. So that makes me feel really, really good. Anyway, oh, look at take two now taking off. Anyway, I'm happy I just had a winner. About uh, 40 cents to go now, 35 cents to go to take two. What I do want you to remember from today's session target. is something extremely important about spikes up or down. If you long a stock, and these are one minute candles, look at the spike down in take two. Never ever get out of a spike, never. You're holding a stock, doesn't matter if you have a stop loss, don't have a stop loss in the system, always have a mental stop, not a hard stop. 
and when once a stock is coming down the way take two is coming down never trust this move this move is very very likely to be just a fat finger move someone sold i don't know how many shares actually i can take a look at the number here look at the number of shares you've got in the previous candle 31,000 shares 41,000 43,000 58,000 now let's take a look at this red candle you see 96,000 so it could be that's just one person sold approximately 40 or 50,000 shares with one click of a button people do that we call that fat finger and that's what drove take two down don't trust this move it's not a gradual downside move it's not a, a move that slows slowly take you down under a support level it's not it's a spike down now it's not pleasant it's very unpleasant but you have to hold you don't have to you can't have a stop loss in these areas when you have a spike down on the other hand if you're long and you have a spike up you should take a profit because it is likely to pull back down as the same way as a spike down is likely to be recovered by buyers who did take it up and finally did move higher so the fact is never ever move out on spikes now i had the same in nvidia took a take a look at nvidia i added some quantity at this reversal over here it moved over the highs it looked nice and then it spiked down these are two minute candles two minute downside candles the first one is not very important just a small pullback and again look at the volume 100 and something thousand shares look at the volume of this red candle over here 336 thousand shares some people got scared someone sold and you're not supposed to move out now that was an easy decision with nvidia because i just added i believe it was 600 shares or 500 shares i can't remember and it finally did continue its uptrend but again it was a spike down not a big deal for me because i just added the small size but in take two i had my full share size which was not that much it was a, it's, it's a big mover i i traded take two today with 1000 shares so anyway it was uh, it is a big mover so this downside move here did not look good anyway i held on to it i'm not supposed to move out when i get these spikes and i'm not supposed to have a hard stopping system and i just need to hold on and wait until it moves higher so i want to thank you guys for joining in today Please remember, trading is not as easy as it seems. Trading is extremely hard and most traders do lose money. My results are not typical. Nor did the result, do the results of other traders here in the room. We are very experienced traders, so be careful. Please start with the demo. Don't go to, live, to a live account before you feel like you, you have some experience and you know what you're doing. So be careful. If you like this video, if you like today's session, please give us a like. Just hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. There's a subscribe button right over there. Hit that button. And plenty of links below this uh, live session or if you're watching the video on YouTube, then there's plenty of links there. You can join us. You can join our live trading room for a 14-day free trial. You are very welcome to do so. And um, don't forget this trading room right here, YouTube trading room. It is a free trading room. And I love the fact that you guys joined me today. So hit that like button for us help our channel and I'll see you in my next trading session. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.